Hey, hi and welcome it's Megan here welcome back to another vlog let's get into it okay so I was planning to come on here earlier but I started washing clothes like earlier um, and then I was gonna start this video and when I was down in the little dungeon that we have in the laundry room uh, we have like this like it's a hot mess down there it, I call it a dungeon for a reason I'll pop a picture up on the screen but there's like this little white hole thing like almost like a hole but there's like something that sticks up I'll show it to you um I tripped on it when I was down there with my laundry I almost fell flat on my face but I was able to like catch myself and um, I was on the phone with my mom at the time so I dropped my phone and I scraped up my knees just a little bit but there was no blood so I was like oh thank goodness I didn't catch anything I did break my big toenail partially like maybe a fourth of it like on the side so my toenail looks kind of a mess and my foot kind of hurts so i'm just i just feel so frustrated like i'm really i'm really upset but then you know i got upstairs i got my laundry um and i was like okay i'm okay i'm not like hurt why is my phone like shattered on the back can you guys see it i can't even tell yes you see all those cracks that's my phone that's not the case that's literally my phone underneath so <laughs> i'm just so sad because i'm like is my phone gonna stop working oh my god so it's been a rough day for me um so I'm trying to just have a really relaxing, chill evening. I'm going to make me some chili because I love chili during this time of year. I really like it when it's cold outside, but it's not cold. It's hot, but that's besides the point. Um, I have on my cute little cozy set. So I have on these little sweat shorts and I have a tube top on because it's warm, but I just turned my air down a little bit so it can get a little chilly in here. So I can put the sweat shirt on. So let me show it to you. And then we're going to get into this cozy chill night. Um, me living in an old building is not for me. It's not for me because, you know, I had these old windows. They weren't doing well. He finally fixed them. I did want to tell you guys that because a lot of y'all were concerned. <laughs> My maintenance guy finally came and he even apologized. He's like, I'm so sorry. It took me two months. I was just like, and he's like, you're so nice and patient. And I was like, yeah, you're taking advantage of that. And he was like, it's just, he's like, I'm so sorry. And I was just like, whatever, please just fix the window. So he fixed them. It's not leaking anymore. I haven't had any bugs issues anymore. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, living in an old building, it's not for me. You know, a lot of my other apartments were like new. I was the first person to be in the unit or like it was built within the last, you know, five years, that kind of thing. And I'm not saying that's better, but I think that's just more my speed. I think that's more me. So y'all hope for that for me um in march when i i get ready to move i don't know where i'm moving to i kind of have an idea in my head of where i want to move to uh and we're just gonna we're just gonna hope it works out we're just gonna hope it works out this is the set isn't it cute i love it um it's got like little pockets right here in the shorts it's got drawstring so i think it's really cute i got it in a size medium i know some people were like sizing up but this is like my actual like size and this is still a little bit oversized but i wanted the pants to fit a little bit in case i wanted to like you know tie it like this and so you can still see my shape a little bit you know but yeah this is cute I, I really, really like it. I got it for Prime Day. Welcome to Megan's Bar and Grill. No, okay, no. Just just my little tiny kitchen with the white refrigerator. Um, I'm about to make chili, like I told you, because it's cozy season, even though it's warm. This is what I like to eat this time of year. You know, it's almost November. Um, so when I get a chili kit, this one's my favorite. If you guys seen it, I get it at Publix or Walmart. It's uh, Carol Shelby's, the original Texas brand. Uh, this is my favorite chili kit. You know, that's one I like. Sometimes I'll just use all the stuff and then season it with like my own seasonings. But if I do get a chili kit, this is my favorite. 
so um, I'm going to be using some ground beef. I got these uh, frozen peppers and onions from Trader Joe's. Uh, I got some Rotel tomatoes. I got two kinds of beans. I got kidney beans and black beans. I usually do pinto beans, but I had black beans already. And then crushed tomatoes. I usually will add stewed tomatoes, but for some reason Target didn't have stewed tomatoes, so I got crushed. But I basically just pop all this together, mix it up, and then we have chili. So that's what I'm making. I'm like really kind of not in the best mood. I'm really upset. So I'm hoping that this chili just really does it for me. So I'm cooking the ground beef right now, but I just wanted to turn on a show. Um, I recently started watching Gilmore, the Gilmore Girls. Um, I guess it's just Gilmore Girls. There's no V. But I recently just started watching that because Netflix is always like 99% match. And I always hear people talk about it every year because I've seen all those shows from like the early 2000s, like, you know, the old Beverly Hills 90210 and um one tree hill dawson's creek like <laughs> roswell i watched all that stuff so this is the only one i didn't watch but people are always talking about it every year around this time of the year so i was like i must be missing something so i'm gonna watch it and if you know it's a cute little show i'm enjoying it right now just let me know do you watch have you seen gilmore girls did you like it and also let me know what you're watching i love when y'all tell me what you're watching i know some people were saying they're watching reruns of the golden girls and then also suits so what else are y'all watching Okay, you guys so I just finished cooking the chili I just took my trash out because it was filling up and plus I threw like the meat container away to me I like to get that out of my house as soon as possible so I was like I'm just go ahead and do it okay why did I go downstairs and the fire department's here and I can hear them now like basically two doors down from mine there's a fire in their apartment and um i asked them i was like do they think it'll spread and they're like they're trying to get it not to spread but i just think it's funny because the fire alarm goes off in this building a few times a week and the fire department never comes there's never a fire and now the fire alarm hasn't gone off through the whole building today and there's actually like a real fire in somebody's apartment and there's like the fire department is here and so <laughs> again old building i'm so over it i want to move so bad please get me out of here so now i'm about to just put it in a little bowl okay what do you guys think should i put it in like a bowl like this or like a plate bowl like a plate i don't know probably like a cute little bowl like this so I'm about to plate it, relax, and then we'll be done. Do I want sour cream or like the Greek yogurt on it? No, but I will do a little cheese on top just to make it cute. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me because it's like super loud. There's like a really loud sound. They're like airing out that apartment and running the hoses up here I don't know but I fixed my chili I'm about to do a taste test with like a little bit of cheese and a cute little bowl mmm love chili um I also got out some tortilla chips in case I want to dip into it with chips 
Um, and then sometimes to change it up, I'll put it over like lettuce and stuff and make almost like a taco salad with chips. And when I used to eat hot dogs, I would make like chili cheese dogs. I may go get some hot dogs, but why did I make enough chili for my husband and three kids as well? And it's just me. I have so much chili that I made because I forgot to change up the ratio that I'm probably gonna end up freezing half of it and then eating it later, like another month or so. So, yeah, I'm gonna go watch Gilmore Girls, relax, try to relax as much as I can with this loud ass sound, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm in my bathroom. I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine. I just took my sweatshirt off. And so I'm about to just wash my face. Um, if I had makeup on, I recently have been using this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. And I really like this to get the makeup off. I don't know how it compares to like other cleansing balms because I don't always use those, but I have been liking it. I feel like it like really helped me get like my eye makeup and stuff off and it was super easy. So we're just gonna start with facial cleanser. This is my everyday facial cleanser. It's my favorite, the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. I like it because uh, it has salicylic acid in it. Like it really helps me not break out, so. face I just let it mostly dry feels really nice and soft my favorite toners I really like this one from the ordinary the glycolic acid I don't use this every day though like maybe twice a week and then my everyday toner that I'm actually running out of is this good molecules niacinamide brightening toner I feel like it really evens out my skin tone and just makes my skin really soft but this one is like it's pretty much empty and I haven't used the glycolic acid in a couple of days so I'm gonna use it just get me a little cotton pad while I'm letting that toner soak in some more I just like to go in with the Palmer's cocoa butter and just put that on my lips to moisturize them and during the colder months I actually use this all over my body now that I'm done with the toner I like to use this discoloration serum um, it's from the brand good molecules as well the discoloration correcting serum it actually came together with that other toner that I like ran out of so um, I really like using those together and you know I just pat that into my skin okay and while I wait for that serum to fully like soak into my face I'm just gonna add some oil to my hair um, I'm using this Wild Grow hair oil that I like to get from the beauty supply store and I mixed it with this Myel mint almond oil because I just like the way this one smells and honestly I just needed a the applicator and so I was like let me just mix them together so yeah I'm just gonna oil my scalp basically while I wait for this serum to go in Last few steps are the moisturizer. This is one of my favorite moisturizers, this Verse Skin Care Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. It is a little expensive for the drugstore. Like this is about $17 and this is 1.5 ounces. That's not like bad compared to like expensive moisturizers, but you know, others are less expensive so what i do is just use it at night um, i have pretty dry skin so i actually can wear this during the day 
and have it under my makeup but just to make it last longer I just use it at night for my super moisturizing routine and then I use a different moisturizer in the morning oh that feels so good okay there we go and then finally my last item and we're done with this nighttime skincare routine I like to use this number seven radiance plus roll and glow eye cream um, it does have a slight pigment to it but it blends in pretty nicely you just put it on underneath and I use this morning and night I don't know if it really helps but it's soothing so I like it for that and then I just kind of tap it underneath my eye and then kind of rub it inward and around my eye like that and same thing on this side and that was my semi-affordable nighttime skincare routine I'm just cleaning the kitchen, putting the chili away, all that good stuff. These are my glass containers that I got from Amazon for my last apartment. I still really like these because they don't stain. So that's my favorite thing. That's my favorite part. I'm not going to put the chili that I'm freezing. I'm not going to put that in a glass container obviously so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this plastic one i think these are from like ikea So now I'm about to make the sleepy girl mocktail that I've been seeing on TikTok. I actually tried it for the first time last night and I really liked it. I feel like it really helped me sleep pretty well. So I'm going to just show you guys how I made mine. Everyone does it like a little bit different, but basically you use this organic tart cherry juice, which is kind of expensive. So we're not going to use too much of that. Um, I found this ginger lime poppy. So this is like a probiotic soda. And then you use magnesium, uh, like a magnesium powder. This one's from the brand Calm because that's just one I saw. Um, and then you just kind of mix it all together and go with it. Um, I think last time I just kind of free poured the juice. So I'm going to do a little bit less of the juice this time and then use the whole poppy because it's carbonated and it also only has 20 calories, whereas the juice has 130 calories for the serving. So I'm going to use the calm supplement first. Um, I don't have a teaspoon, so I'm just going to use this as the teaspoon. So one and then two. It's two teaspoons. And then I'm gonna use like two shots of the tart cherry juice. So we've got the little measuring shot thing. One, pour it in. Two, I may use a little more later, but yesterday I free poured it and I did way too much. So yeah, and then I'll put the ice in there. <gasps> That was stupid. And I just attached this. Hold on, make sure it's sucked in. I feel like that really helps break up the, um, I feel like that really helps break up the, what's it called? the powder and helps it dissolve into the tart cherry juice. You just pour it in. Okay, and there's the ice in there as well. So there, and then you add the poppy. Last time I was only planning to add half of the poppy, but um, there's no way to save it do you guys know how to save the carbonation in like a drink like this because if you do then let me know and then i won't have to do as much mm. 
Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Let's taste it. Woo! It's twangy. The tart cherry juice is so strong and twangy. And honestly, there's apple cider vinegar in this like poppy drink, so I can't tell if I can taste it or if that's like the twang and the tart cherry juice, but to me, it really gives like it kind of has alcohol in it. I don't know, but I like it. I really feel like it helps me really wind down and go to sleep. So let me know if you've tried uh, this like sleepy girl mocktail thing. I think that's what they're calling it on TikTok. <laughs> I'm in my bed now because I'm just gonna um, sip on the rest of my drink and read uh, Atomic Habits. That's what I'm still reading right now. I just topped off the little mocktail with the poppy. That's why it looks like it's almost full again. And I like it. I like the poppy by itself too, that ginger lime. It gives kind of healthy, but it's refreshing. Uh, it's a little expensive, but honestly, I feel like most healthy stuff is. You know how it is. Uh, I got it from Publix because that's where I found it. I got my bonnet on. Um, I'm ready to go to sleep. Oh, let me put my Apple Watch on this thing. But I got my bonnet on, my long one. This thing really comes in handy. See? I got it from Amazon. But anyway, uh, I have my bonnet on. I'm ready to go to sleep now. I feel really sleepy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think that stuff really helps me like calm myself. I don't know if it's a placebo or what. I mean, because most days I am really tired, so it could just be that. But I don't know, I feel really good and like, I wanna go to sleep. No, I don't feel like I'm about to like pass out or anything. Like, you know, like when you take Benadryl and NyQuil and stuff, you'd be like knocked out. It's not giving that, but I feel like, time for bed that's how I feel so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in my next one love you guys bye